Today, we put an end to that agony that we've all experienced time and time again from playing guitar. It's no secret pill. You take the red pill. Or concoction to down before picking up that guitar. What I'm about to show you is gonna take only five to 10 minutes. And each time you play, you're gonna feel less pain and have overall healthier feeling hands. Well, take health advice from this guy. Despite what the troll said, I will be advising you on a warm-up routine that has worked for me. But down below, there will be a disclaimer and one will pop up on the screen now. Warning. The techniques described in the following program are the express opinion of the content provider. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have before undertaking a new healthcare regimen. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because it's something you've seen here today. The creator of this video does not declare to be a healthcare professional which is evident in the fact that there are three chins on the screen and only one person present during the filming. If you stick around to the end, I'll give you three alternatives to this warm up that'll speed up your process even more. You won't want to miss it. All right, so the first thing I like to do is take a dish towel, put it in a microwavable bowl and fill it up with water. And then I usually set mine to five to seven minutes. Be careful when you're wringing it out because it will be hot. I suggest for you when you're first starting off, Try one minute increments to see what temperature works the best for you. Then I wrap my wrist up in the towel for about five minutes. You could use two to make it less awkward. I thought you said you were gonna go play guitar. I am, I'm just warming up. All right, now for the exercises. Just as a reminder, there should be a slight discomfort, but no real pain. If you feel any numbness or tingling or any sharp shooting pain that's radiating anywhere, I would stop what you're doing and seek the advice of a medical professional. First, we're gonna start off with our wrists. So the first exercise is we're gonna pull back on our fingers, pointing to the sky. Pull back nice and easy. Each time you do this, you should get a little bit more of a reach, but we're not trying to hyperextend anything like that. Then when I go down, I like to make a fist. It engages more of the muscles, and I actually have a tennis elbow issue right now, so I could feel more of the stretch when I do it this way. But if it's too tight for you, then you can just point your fingers down. Okay, And then I rotate to the left and pull back. To the right if you started with your other hand. And then the other way. And then we're going to do the other arm. And just nice and easy. Remember, no pain. Now rest again. And then out. Again, holding for five for 10 seconds. Longer if you want. All right, so the next exercise, we're gonna stretch our fingers out. And what I like to do is I put the hand out in front of me and I stretch each segment of each finger till I get to the top. And then I put pressure on the back and just bend it back. We're not looking to hyperextend it and touch the back of our hands. Some of you might be double jointed or whatever they call that and you can do that. But all we're looking at is for a nice little stretch. Each time you do it, you'll gain a little bit more, probably of a stretch. And then I just hold each one for about five to 10 seconds after I get to the top. And the thumb too. And what goes up must go down. And just do it in reverse. Each segment down. And then downward pressure for five to 10 seconds. When you're doing a downward motion, when you're doing that final five to 10 seconds, I start right where the finger meets the hand. Whereas before you were doing it where at your fingertip. It's called just the tip. When doing the downward motion, I try not to crack my knuckles. I know there's probably different Beliefs that cracking your knuckles may cause arthritis. I err on the side of caution and I just don't do it. This is a good time to clear your mind of what was going on beforehand and focus on what you're about to do.
the thumb to get a little bit of an extra stretch, you could actually wrap your thumb around there and get, make a little bit of a fulcrum. All right, the next exercise I like to call links. It's not because I have sausage links for fingers. It's because you're going to take each individual finger and link it with your thumb, but you're going to take the opposing hand and make like a chain link, put your elbows out, and then pull and try to pull it apart. And then you're going to switch to your next finger. You do this for five, ten seconds each finger, or however long you want. Okay, up next, I like to call this exercise scissors and double crossover. Basically, you're going to take your hand and spread your fingers apart. Use the opposing fingers and just get a nice, easy stretch. Each time you do this, you'll be able to spread even farther. Now the double crossover part is where you make a cross. I take, like, take the other finger from the other hand and push against it to give a little bit extra stretch. And now the double where you flip on the other side and push. And we're going to do that for each one. Sometimes you might have to help the fingers get crossed over. Each side five to ten seconds. Again, think about what you're about to practice today, what you're about to do. My right hand's always a little bit easier than my left hand. The thumb is a little difficult to do. You can usually get a good stretch one way, but the other way, really not so much of a stretch. Next hand. Yep, sometimes it gets a little difficult to do it. And now, one of the last warm-ups I do, I call it basket weaving, where I take my fingers, interjoin them, and then I try to squeeze together. You could try to wrap your fingers down, but I find it a little bit easier to point the fingers up and just squeeze together for five to 10 seconds. Then I relax those fingers down and I put my thumbs together and I push down with my fingertips into my hand and then push up with my elbows and push those thumbs together. About five to 10 seconds. And then lastly, bend the other way. Something that we've all probably done before. And down in front of you. Oh, like you're stretching, like you just woke up. And that's it. Shake out your wrists, your fingers. And you're all warmed up. That didn't take too long, did it? Now, as promised, those three alternatives that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that'll help you out speed up this process even faster, two of them will be at a minimal investment and one of them is absolutely free. The first one is going down to your local pharmacy and finding a reusable heat pack. You can get these little gel packs that you can throw in the microwave, heat them up for a little bit. You put them on your wrist, your elbows, whatever you want to warm up. And then you can just put it on your desk and go throw it on your floor, whatever and you don't have to worry about cleaning up a messy wet towel or anything like that. The next is an electric heating blanket. You may have seen your grandparents sitting on them from time to time. Just try to find ones that your uh, grandparents haven't broken wind on. And then lastly, is just taking your hands, putting them together as if you were like warming them up outside. Gets the blood flowing, heats them up. I actually even do this after the towel procedure to get the wetness out of the hands. 
So they kind of dry off and it gets the blood flowing even better. Hopefully you found some value to this video and add this to your routine. I know it's something that has helped me out and I wish I started a regimen like this many years ago. In a future video, we'll be covering even more exercises. Ones that you could do anywhere, anytime, even while driving. So hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below of what you liked in this video. You've been a great audience, and as always, remember, stay tuned.